It really is. For, first of all, I've been wanting to say something all week, which is greetings, survivors of the ice apocalypse. <laughs> For those of you who are at home because you have ice up to your necks, it, it wasn't that, okay, it really was that bad, and these people are incredibly brave for driving out here. Uh, sorry? Behind, oh, God. He's just trying to get a good angle on your butt. He better shoot. Wide angle lens. Those of you who don't remember this, we're trying to get up, we're trying to do a, a thing, a, an advertisement type thing where we see you guys, because you got, make a nice face. You might not be a total blur. If we see the back of your head, we can't use that photo. You all gotta be like this. <gasps> do that. Everybody over here just make a really freaked out face. <laughs> who knows what's gonna happen? <laughs> I'm a little scared, I'm not gonna lie. I hear the clicking has stopped. That's the only way I know he's done, but he's probably still, but is he? Damn. <laughs> I had a thing I was gonna stop. You're very distracting with that. Okay. Starting early. Let's break the host. You guys, I don't, I don't know what you've been through in all of your week. I know I was without power for two and a half days. The first day was like, oh, I'll tough it out under a blanket. After that, it was like, screw this, I'm going to a hotel. Somebody actually asked me, would the Red Cross be, be taking care of that? And I said, you know what? Let's face it, I was mildly inconvenienced. <laughs> Send that money to people who actually got really screwed by this thing. Fix people's houses, fix people's cars. But no, I, I didn't get a mint on my pillow and that was tough. Uh, <laughs> but the thing was, the circus had to go on. Everything had to keep happening. The city seemed to shut the hell down, but the phone kept ringing. Facebook kept going pop. And it was all, it was mostly, it was you guys going, are we okay? I'm like, yes. It was costume design. I actually, we did a costume fitting in the lobby of the hotel because they had big mirrors. So Marie Martin's there on a pair of stilts. We've got a dressmaker there like doing a new dress thing for her on stilts in the middle of the lobby. This wasn't awkward. No, it was awesome. It was, it was amazing. The point was, we kept going. We did like prosthetic makeup tests in the hotel room. I, they are never going to get those towels clean. It's just never going to happen. But we kept going and we kept going. And about that teeter point was the question, well, are we going to be here tonight? And everybody in the crew said yes. That's why, that's the first reason we're here. Everybody in the crew said that we should do this. And, and some of them drive from, you know, these guys drive from Denton. I think we got some people who drive from further, which is scary. TJ drove from across a bridge made of ice, sideways, while on fire. <laughs> That's kind of his thing. Uh, behind his back, being chased by a bear. <laughs> and, and, and that's what we did. And people asked, they said, are you stupid? <laughs> Not just to him, I mean to me, to all of us. Are you stupid? <laughs> And we said, no, we're not stupid. We made a promise. We said we were going to be here with two words that I use with a very serious conviction. I said, we are going to be here without fail. Because if somebody walks in that door who's been cooped up in their apartment without power for two days, or like me, staring at a wall in a hotel, they're going to be mad for attention and interaction. And there is no place better than this to give them that. We made a promise that we would be here without fail, and we are here together on Monday night. Thank you for coming.